Good afternoon, everybody, and thanks for joining us. I'm Sean Mooney. And I'm Amanda Gomez. We begin with the latest on the first execution in the state in nearly a decade. Arizona has now executed its 38th inmate since 1992. That is when the state instituted death by lethal injection. In 2014, the state performed what has been described as a botched execution on Joseph Wood. Executions in the state had been on pause since. News for Tucson's Lupita Murillo is live from Florence, where the state prison is located. Lupita, what's the latest? Well, I can tell you that the family of Dina Bowden has waited 44 years for this moment, and that is to watch 66-year-old Clarence Dixon be put to death. His last meal, Kentucky Fried Chicken, Strawberry Ice Cream, Bottled Water, and he died at 10.30 this morning. His last words, his last statement, and I quote was, the Arizona Supreme Court should follow the laws. They denied my appeals and petitions to change the outcome of this trial. I do and will always proclaim innocence. Now let's do this the 66-year-old Dixon was put to death for the 1978 murder of 21-year-old Dina Bowden, an ASU student. The case went cold for 23 years. It wasn't until 2001 DNA testing linked Dixon to the crime when a cold case detective took over the case. Dixon has been in prison since 1986, serving life sentences on separate cases. Today, he was executed for the rape and murder of Dina Bowden. His very last words after the drugs went in at 10, 19, uh, maybe I'll see you on the other side, Dina. I don't know you and I don't remember you. Those were his final words. And after that, he fell asleep. Dina Bowden's sister was among those witnessing his execution. You'll get to hear what she has to say coming up at 5 o'clock. Reporting live from Florence, Lupita Murillo, News for Tucson.